Right, moving on to step 12 on page 14. It says here, we will now add the reinforcement bar. I'll just come over there. All right, we're going to add the reinforcement or rebar, they call it, uh, to the footing. All right, so that involves the ligatures and the, um, and, the, and the steel rods. Now, there is a little YouTube thing you can watch, and I highly encourage you to have a look at that uh, because it's very worthwhile looking at um, in, in doing that. It will help you. But let's um, follow the instructions and actually put in a rebar. So first of all, we're going to put the ligature, which is basically uh, parallel to the view is the ligature. It's one of these. And if and then later on we're going to use the perpendicular to cover one to put the rods. So let's um, uh, yeah. So we're going to end up with that's that's what what I call a ligature there. All right. But still, it's a part of a reinforcement system. All right. So let's have a look at that. So initially we're just going to put one ligature uh, in um, in here, but that's where it's going to fall about there, which is where our section is. And then we're going to in theory make it go all the way along. A look. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it should look like that in the end. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's uh, have a go at that. All right. Let's uh, hit over here. Uh, let's go back to this thing here. Call out. Structure. Is that what we're meant to be? Yeah. Uh, Rebar. Here we go. I don't want to save. All right. Now, that's not the one I want. Uh, that that parallel to work plane is what I want, but that's not the shape I want. Uh, the shape is H, uh, HT, rebar shape HT. Oh, no. <laughs> Just over here. This, this is a uh, different looking sort of um, menu that comes up. Uh, this is the one we want. No. Oh. Look at that. See what, as I move along, it just finds different areas and it just sort of squishes itself in there. So that's what we want. All right, so is that the... Uh, space bar, that yeah, I was going to say, that's that's different because uh, uh, we need to press this space bar. I'm sure if it says that in the notes, does it? Yeah, um, it does. Yeah, it does. Space bar will make that pop on the other side. See that? All right, so that's... We're moving this thing along there. All right, let's just <laughs> click now. So space bar, get it to the right spot, click, and it should stay there. And um, then what we're going to do is go to, um, well, uh, first of all, I'll just finish the command and just go to 3D just to show you what we've done. And just uh, put this into wireframe. And it's on the other side that it ended up in. It's over here, just swing around. There it is. So we'll put that guy in there. Beautiful. All right, so that's all we've done. Uh, next, we're going to move on and, uh, and, and put the... Um, oh, yeah, we're going to modify the ligature, sorry. Uh, we'll stay in this view for now. Then we'll put the rods in after. All right, we're going to put the ligatures in, which means we're going to be working towards... i so looking at page 15 now on step 14. All right, yeah. So basically, we're going to make that one become many, and we're going to put a maximum spacing of 600. So for that to happen, I'll just have to make sure I click on it again. It doesn't say this in the notes, but um, you sort of uh, get to know how it works now. For it to do something, um, something to pop up, you need to click something. So in doing that, I'm getting this menu here. I'm also getting that on the side, I think, somewhere. Anyway, uh, here it is. There, the layout, single. So I can change it there or I can change it here. All right, what we're going to do there, we're going to go for maximum spacing. And we're going to set that to, instead of 100, we're going to set it to 600. All right, enter that. And that's what we get. There it is. Beautiful. All right, so I'll escape that. I'll go back in. That's like a system. All right, so it's uh, picking up the whole lot. All right, so next we're going to move on and we're going to, uh, on step 15, we're going to switch back to the call-out view, which is this one here. I don't know if I can find it. All right, and we're going to put in some rods. We're going to go to the, uh, again, to the structure. We're going to go to the rebar. 
This time we're going to go perpendicular. And we're also going to pick up the different one. We're going to put the S one. S, so S we down here somewhere. Uh, RS, this one, that one there is S. We are also, according to our little thing here, we're going to change that to three. <coughs> it's a fixed number uh, here. And we're going to change it to three. Oh, sorry, three. And we're also going to make sure that this is not R6, but R12. So you can change that setting too. All right, so now if I come in here, it will sort of sense where I am. This one is a bit particular. If I sort of hang around here, it puts them all there. Um, so it finds little areas again. So it's a bit difficult, that one. If I just move a little bit, it seems to work there. So I just click it there. And down the bottom, again, we can just drop them there. Done. So that's done. So this, in theory, goes right through to the whole length of the beam. We should change over to 3D and have a look. And so that beam has basically been uh, done to the level of detail of 350, roughly. All right, so let's go to our 3D again and have a look what we've done. And if I just zoom into here, you can see the three rods down the bottom. And there should be uh, three at the top, which are a bit more difficult to see. Uh, but they, they are there somewhere, trust me. All right. Uh, you can muck around with uh, this line weight thing too. Uh, that, well, maybe. Maybe I've seen better there. Sure. Yeah, there's three basically at the top there. All right. Okay. Uh, so that's a little level of detail done. All right, let's go. The next thing is to add a roof structure, and we're going to do that next week. Uh, for now, this is all we're going to do. Uh, so I'll leave this one uh, here and continue on next time.